So I'm going to be making a straight razor out of this spring steel that my uncle gave to me. Uh, I've got so much of it. Uh, I'm going to be cutting about an inch square by four inches, maybe five. I'll probably go five just in case I need a little bit more. Uh, that's good. It's so close. Oh, oh God. <laughs> If I compare this to the actual main thing I made, this portion right here will be the blade, and this is the tang. Later I'm going to punch a hole in here, but I need some grinding done on this, and I need some profiling done. Uh, I'm going to cut this shorter, because this is really long, and I need to begin to outline where my bevelers are going to be. My bevelers. I can't English right now, but uh, 
here's what I'm going after. And uh, this, I think, is getting pretty close to that. So I'm going to go ahead and get back. not done, but I got some more work on it, of course. edge it's so much so much thinner on this edge you can hardly even see it but yeah bevel working is very important so 
my touch mark is this piece right here, my stamp I made a while back, and this D. And it's two of those, almost like a Mickey Mouse. choice. I think I'll use the tongs. I think that's uh, all I'm going to do for recording for today because my phone is about to die. So I'm going to go ahead and place this from its cocoon and go ahead and put it back in the fire. Thank you. I'm going to let it normalize eh, one more time and then be done for the bit. So, I'll see you after that. I'm gonna leave that there because I've got a super thin edge and a super thick back. And you can see how steep it gets. That's good. Yeah, it's too big. All right. I think it's time to restamp these because uh, I completely lost the letters of my touch mark. And I almost lost it here. So I'm just going to re-stamp it and then um, I think I'll harden it.
let's see if this thing is hard. So, the reason this works is because, see how it's skating? I can't bite into the surface. Of course, you can see the metal, but on soft metals, let me see if I have any. This is some of that unhardened. It's the same material. It's actually the piece I cut off. It should, see how it's biting? Makes a much different noise as well. But it's biting in, so this means this is hard enough to skate a file. These are decently hard files, but they can't scratch hardened metal. Well, they can, it's just not really all that effective. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and temper this knife uh, in an oven. It's about 400 degrees. Uh, yeah, you gotta go 420 and you blaze it. I'll grind this down just to get it so you can see the metal. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to it. So I have gone ahead and taken some of this scrap wood that was found in my dad's garage from a cutoff piece they were using. Uh, I think he got it from a box. So I'm gonna take these two and use them as my handle slabs. And I'm also going to do something fancy with my saw. Uh, I'm not going to film it, sorry, I'm running out of storage space, but I'm going to go ahead and get to that. So, I skipped ahead and I did not film a lot of what I have done. I have taped up the blade and sandblasted this part. I'll probably show a little bit of sandblasting this back edge. Uh, it's really difficult because this thing is extremely foggy and it's not easy to see through. But I've also gone ahead and done the handle, which I'm going to stain. Uh, I didn't get any of the filming, but I took those slabs I was talking about, drilled a hole, drilled another hole, glued in between the piece of wood I need, and it fits together really well. So, I'm going to sandblast this up because it looks much nicer this way. I want the blade, come on, focus, to have a different finish. I want the blade to be smooth and clean and pristine and like a mirror polish. And I've gone ahead and given this a rougher look, but it's sandblasted, so it has a really interesting, like, grain pattern. Which my camera will not focus on. There we go, that's a bit better. But yeah, gonna go ahead and fix that up. Um, all the process for this is, you take the slabs, you glue it together, and then on the belt sander, let me take you over here. On the belt sander, you just work in on this edge, work in more in the middle. Uh, you round off this edge, you round it over, you clean it up. I also use my Dremel tool to go ahead and give these edges a much smoother surface. Uh, I did not film it. Uh, my camera stand was dead and my phone is out of storage, almost out. So I'm going to get back to it.
Pretty neat. I like that. That's really cool. Anyway, sorry about that. All right, so I left this in overnight. I glued it up. Uh, it was a little dark, so you wouldn't have seen it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and grind that down and hand send the blade. So I've got a new sharpening stone that has a range from 3,000 to 8,000 grit. Uh, it's super fine. This should hopefully get for the straight razor that has been delayed for so long up to a razor sharp finish. I went ahead and put an edge using the sander. Uh, we're going to let this soak. It should soak for about 15 minutes. Uh, you keep it wet and clean while you're working it. And it's really like bubbling and clicking. It's really interesting, but we're going to use that. Let's go ahead and shave. I'm just going to trim everything up and make it look nice. It's working pretty well. Hey. With this though, gross. Um, it could be a bit more refined if I had finer sharpening stones, so it would cut a lot easier. I wouldn't have to put as much pressure. Um, it's cutting smoothly. Yeah, it takes a lot more skill than I would have originally thought. It's kind of impressive, honestly.
You can see whenever I start cutting, it starts pulling tension on my face. So I have to put tension in other places to prevent that so it cuts easier. This is so weird. <laughs> I'm very worried about cutting my face. Yee, that's not good. I believe this is where an artery is. So if I'm not careful, I could kill myself here. Okay. Yeah. So that's proof of concept that it works. But yeah, this thing is a piece of beauty and I love it. It's amazing. Hmm. First ever folding knife that I ever did. And it turned out just the way I wanted it to. So.